Since the release of version 10.1 of Final Cut Pro, all of your events, media files and edits are now grouped together into libraries. Each library will typically represent an individual project or production and so, with time, you'll have more and more libraries to manage. Final Cut Library Manager ensures that the management and cleaning of these libraries is as simple as possible. Once launched in full screen mode or in a single window, Final Cut Library Manager displays on the right hand side all the libraries it found along with their sources listed on the left. Let's take a quick look at these sources. If one of your disks isn't listed, probably because it isn't indexed by Spotlight, then you can add it manually. For even more flexibility, you can also add individual folders. And if a source isn't indexed by Spotlight, a simple click allows you to scan for any new libraries. You can also force a scan of an index source if Spotlight doesn't appear to provide the correct results. You may reorder the sources to best suit your needs and also remove them from the list. It's as simple as that and without any risk since it's really easy to add them back later. Now that all your sources are listed on the left, you will be able to exploit the full potential of Final Cut Library Manager for creating, sorting, filtering, opening, commenting and cleaning your libraries in a manner that is significantly more efficient than using the Finder. To start, Notice how simply hovering highlights the link between the libraries and their sources. A single click shows or hides the libraries in each of the sources. And here's a quick tip. Hold down the command key to hide or show all of them in one go. Group them together, for example, by listing the most recently modified at the top or by ordering them alphabetically. And to find one in particular, a simple search will suffice. A double click allows you to open them in Final Cut Pro. As before, this opens alongside the currently open libraries. Here, Final Cut Library Manager offers you the possibility of opening a library by itself. You just need to double click while holding down the Option key and Final Cut Pro opens your chosen library. Note that you also have access to these options via the context menu. An additional feature much requested by users is that you can now easily make notes on each of your libraries. Since we're using Finder's comments, these can be read and modified by other users that are sharing your libraries. Now what happens if you unplug a disk? One of the most important features of Final Cut Library Manager is that it keeps a trace of your missing offline libraries. These cases are clearly indicated by the library's icon and with one click you can choose or hide them or, on the contrary, to highlight them. By looking at their source you'll know which disk to reconnect to your Mac in order to open a given library. Managing your libraries is now child's play. However, what happens when you start running out of disk space? It's clearly time for a clean-up and here's how we go about doing just that. Start by sorting your libraries by size to immediately find the largest ones. Or even better, sort them by the potential space that will be recovered by cleaning. A graphic clearly indicates how the space is shared between the various types of data and a pop-up is available for even more detailed information. You can thus choose which media types you'd like to delete. The render files, which Final Cut Pro recreates automatically when the project is next opened, the proxy and optimised media files, which you can ask Final Cut Pro to regenerate when needed, since Final Cut Library Manager never touches your original files. One click on the trash can, and these files are sent to the trash on your Mac. To save even more time, you can work on several libraries at once. Select your libraries, or even an entire disk. Choose the media files to remove, and with one click, they're sent to the trash. If your original files are present on an offline disk, or if they have been removed in error, a warning sign is displayed. If that's the case, then Final Cut Library Manager only deletes the optimised files for which the corresponding original file can be found. For maximum protection, this test is done for each and every file. Finally, for those who wish to recover even more space, it is possible to display two extra columns to allow cleaning of the optical flow files and the internal copies of the shared media files. There we go. Try Final Cut Library Manager and if you like it, then please buy a copy.
We'd love to hear your feedback and take into account your suggestions. Just choose Send Your Comments from the menu. Thank you for listening.